farther west, there's uh, not too much that's showing up, although you may see this little white stuff right here on the lake. That's ice and the ice is just beginning to form. If you look very closely, you can even see kind of a little line that kind of goes from Peely Point on down to the Vermilion area. And that, my friends, is where our ice story begins because the ice is now starting to form. Taking a look at some NASA or excuse me, NOAA satellite imagery, you can see where the clouds were that I just showed you in the looping format. But if we zoom in a little bit more now, you can see on the west end of the lake, we are getting a widespread ice sheet that is starting to develop very close close to the lakeshore, even over toward Cleveland, we have ice that is forming right on the lakeshore. Now the update from the Great Lakes Environmental Research Laboratory that tracks ice across the Great Lakes is showing where we do have the ice coverage and you can see not much of Lake Erie is ice covered as of yet. We can dive into the details a little bit and get a little bit better idea of how this is going. What kind of ice are we looking at and how thick it is? Well, it's not very thick at all. We're only in the oranges and the greens here, so seven eighths out of 10. That means it's kind of a slushy slurry that is forming out there uh, with some areas that really haven't even frozen over. But when we take a look at the type of ice, this is where the story really gets interesting because we are in this light pink and this purple here. New lake ice and thin lake ice. Friends, this is not ice that you can play with yet. We will probably see some fishable ice later on in the uh, season here, but for right now, this is very thin ice. Stay off the the ice and just know that there is more ice that's coming because our temperatures are going to stay cold. We don't have anything above freezing except one day and it's clear into next week. So we uh, have some chilly temperatures still to go.